With the Christmas season coming up, I thought I would take a look at the upcoming weather forecast uh, to give people a, an idea of what to expect over the next several days. We'll take a look at three of the major models, uh, the NAM and GFS, um, which are based in the United States, and also the European model. All the images that are depicted here are as of noon on Wednesday. The first model we'll look at here is the NAM model. Um, the rain snow line is pretty close to the Twin Cities Metro, but it looks like, based on this model, that most of the precipitation will fall as rain across western Wisconsin and southeastern Minnesota. The, GS, the GFS model pushes the precipitation a little bit further east into Wisconsin, where the Twin Cities Metro doesn't see hardly any precipitation out of this storm. The European model is similar to the NAM model, where the precipitation is over southeast Minnesota and most of Wisconsin, and the fringe of the precipitation is right over the Twin Cities Metro. So there seems to be some agreement between a couple of the models out there, and this is probably, if I had to guess, the most likely scenario where the Metro just sees barely a little precipitation and the bulk of it will stay over Wisconsin in the form of rain. The Twin Cities may see a little bit of a mix, but um, most of the precipitation should be on the wet side. Just to wrap things up here, the bulk of the precipitation should happen on Wednesday during uh, the afternoon and lingering into the early morning hours of Christmas Eve. Uh, the majority of Christmas Eve should be fine uh, with no travel impacts. Uh, Christmas Day, there doesn't appear to be really anything that will impact it. It should be dry. As far as the Twin Cities go, it should be mostly rain uh, with some snowflakes mixed in since uh, we're kind of right on the border of the the rain snow line. Um, so there could be a few wet flakes mixed in, but the, the majority of the precipitation should fall as rain. And then it should be all rain for areas to the east and southeast of the Twin Cities. That includes Rochester, Minnesota, and much of Wisconsin. Thank you for watching this presentation.